Furunari is back with another chapter on Halloween. Sadly though, no big titty goth girlfriend milk death devil reveal, no awesome Mitako or Yoshida. I I'd say if you want to ask my reaction to this chapter, well, it'd go a little something like this. Can't do that. So if you like Chainsaw Man, then subscribe and drop a like as we cover new chapters once they drop. My friends, you are in the right place. So let's just jump right into this. Baron begins the chapter with a Makima reference, praising Nayata as, after all, she is the former Makima. But Baron once again asks Denji to transform into Chainsaw Man as Chainsaw Man has spoken to him in a revelation. He proclaims that Nayata is a witch who will one day plunge the world into darkness, which causes Denji and Nayata to say in unison, say what? I thought this was low-key kind of cute, but besides that, this is a huge moment in the chapter because it confirms that Barum and the Chainsaw Man Church are fundamentally against these horsemen devils. This means that devils like Nayata, Famine, Yoru, Death, they want to kill them. However, what I think Barum doesn't realize is that Denji will probably never ever turn on Nayata or Asa or Famine, and I, I think it's pretty clear that the Death Devil is the bigger evil that's been currently set up and needs to be dealt with. That's why Fami did all of this. She wants to make Chainsaw Man the most powerful devil so that he can kill the Death Devil. And it makes you wonder why Barum wants to eliminate people like Nayata, Fami, and Yoru. Maybe Barum is working with the Death Devil in secret? I mean, who knows? But also, I want to bring up this nice little theory that Adora Burb in my server brought up, and it's a really good point. What if the Death Devil can control the concept of death itself? This is what he had to say. Imagine how fucked up it would be to fight the Death Devil for it to bring Aki, Power, Angel, Himeno, and all the other known dead characters to fight by her side, and they can't die either because with her around, death is non-existent. I mean, we don't know everything about the death devil yet, but it, it, I, if that's a possibility, I, man, I, I don't know. I don't think my heart could take it anymore. But the horde of chainsaw men attack the three, which prompts Quan Chi in all of her glory to come in and slice the heads off of the devils and then grab Dinji, Nayata, and Fumiko, saving them. And I just thought the visual of Quan Chi grabbing three people all at once and running away is both pretty impressive and hilarious, and it gets even more impressive when she does a running jump with all three of them too. So she runs and jumps off the building they were on, breaking her legs, shattering them. However, a more important detail is that Quan Chi has now claimed Fumiko as a new member of her harem. If you're wondering why she bit into Fumiko's midriff, it is because Quan Chi needed to heal herself. So who better to bite into than Fumiko with an exposed stomach after all, which as we speak, I'm sure there are a million Twitter artists drafting up their new art of Quan Chi biting people, probably saying roar and making millions of dollars off of it. Godspeed artists, Godspeed. So Quan Chi heals her leg from the fall, which I bet she's really appreciating the fact that she's a hybrid right now and proceeds to Gojo a bunch of devils. Then what's funny is that Barum is like, she's like a, like a manga character come to life. Which is true. She is indeed a manga character. We then just see this, this pure chaos unfold as public safety members and people with training to deal with devils are seen slaying all the devils with some really interesting details in these panels. For one, it seems there is something coming out of the ground in certain places, which gives the feeling that hell is truly on earth and that this event has completely changed the planet and its people to some degree. Like, we're really in the end times now in this series, at least that's what it feels like. As well as some of these images, we see a legless girl bleeding out as she's holding onto a man who has turned into a devil, which is just so sad and grim. Even more so is when they begin to burn the bodies and lie them all out in a row. We see headless people, some torn in half or missing limbs, even children are victims. And because of this, authorities are calling it a mass devil outbreak, and those that have taken a devil extermination exam are asked to assist. And I found this to be a neat little detail. It seems that at this point in humanity's time, that the public are very well informed about devils and their, well, potential danger. This means that this is such a widespread issue across the world regularly, probably, you know, starting with the gun devil attacks, that this is somewhat just a normal occurrence in people's daily lives, which is fucked up. 
We also get some details on the Devils as the four Watch Public Safety members burn them in a mass fire. And the reason they're doing this is because as long as there is blood flowing through them, all they need to do is pull the starter on their chest, which, much like Chainsaw Man, will revive them. So this is the best and most reliable way to get rid of them quickly. Upon witnessing this, we see a random dude and a wife beater basically call out Denji as a wannabe Chainsaw Man, which Denji is like, excuse me? He's probably like, what do you mean? I am Chainsaw Man. But overall, I think Fujimoto has a pretty solid setup to have Denji transform into Chainsaw Man and reveal himself again, mostly because the world has gone to hell and people clearly need it. At the same time, with all these devils running around, maybe that wouldn't be the best idea as it may make him a target more than he already is. Also, for people in the know, there was a Yoga no Nayata reference in this when Barum called the Death Devil a witch. I thought that was a pretty nice reference, but other than that, this chapter of Chainsaw Man, I, I don't know. I was a little underwhelmed just because it's Halloween and I wanted to see some brains or some big titty, you know, goth devil uh, action. Uh, uh, still though, solid chapter, pretty consistent, though I think the next couple of chapters are going to be much more eventful overall, which, like I said, sorta unfortunate. So give me your thoughts on the chapter below, was this an underwhelming chapter to you? What did you think about what happened in it? Let me know. Gotta say though, a big congratulations to you guys, last week's Chainsaw Man video was one of my most popular I've ever done on this channel, and it got over 8k views. That's insane for this channel, as I only have like, a, what, a little over 3k subs? So thank you all for so much of your support and your love, and if you're one of the nearly 100 people who subscribed last week, then drop a like on the video and, and help me out again. Thank you all so much for your continued support, and please do have a good day. Financially support what I do here by becoming a patron, where you'll gain access to my mega One Piece arc reviews and first impressions. Thanks for watching. Bye bye